Welcome to Morning Thoughts this morning with SoFlo TV. If you've never been here before, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Then click that button, which is a bell, which will notify you every time a video is uploaded to this channel. Welcome back, everybody. Happy, happy Monday. Today is Money Making Monday. Big up to all the people who had a weekend off and you enjoyed your weekend thoroughly with the family or the fathers who were surrounded by loved ones, especially your children. It was Father's Day yesterday. Today we're back to work again and no school, it's summertime. So big up to everybody. This Morning Thoughts is a story about... The theme for this morning is this. Help somebody today if you can. Because you don't know just how far that help will go. Some people just need a little bit of help. And with that little bit of help, they can do so much. They can accomplish so much. So this story. Remember the story about the lady that was um, from St. Thomas in Jamaica that was beating her daughter. And she was beating the daughter. She On video... She actually hit the daughter with the long machete blade about 20 times. Literally, about 20 times. And people are saying, Lord, she's going to chop her. Is she chopping the little girl or is she hitting her? And then they went on to say stuff like, Mommy's skillful with the machete, man. A country woman with her machete. She never chopped the little girl, but she could have chopped her. And a lot of legal woes came out of it. Her children were removed from her. The last story I read on it was this headline that said, Five years more without her twin daughters for the machete mom. That was the decision that was made in a court case involving the St. Thomas woman who was seen on video viciously beating her 12-year-old daughter with a machete. Now remember the little girl after she get about 20 licks, you know, even the dog that jumped in the video, She'd lick all the dog with the machete. Arr, 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 arr. The dog went running. I did a video on it and I did the humorous side of it at the time. How the little girl take away herself faster than you say and bolt. Licks, I tell you. And she was feeling, you know, when they beat your country and you feel up your body. Because you, you, you can't believe that body part is still there or the licks are hot. You feel like pizza you missing with the lick. The little girl ran like she was running for her life. People were outraged, right? That story has taken a beautiful turn, and I'm going to tell you that story in a minute. Check it out. Before I go there, though, let me say, I had videos at the time that people sent me of the little girl. Pull out her breast them, bare titties, on camera. Pull out tongue. I talk about she suck, like showing up her body parts on camera. And people were saying that it was these videos that her mom saw and her mom whooped her behind in such a vicious way that people thought she was going to chop her up with a machete and kill her. Not to mention the mother when she had beat her, she was saying, may we kill you, you know? May we kill you? Which, you know, Jamaican parents, they are Caribbean parents, they are already, not just Jamaican parents. So, <laughs> in this story now, this is the headline. First rate turnaround. Oh gosh, man. The machete Beating child aces school work. The machete beating child as aces her school work. Let me show you how good this is and how much people can take just a little bit of help. Not only that, but how good community is. Community. It takes a village, right? And we have to get back to that principle also. Now, the story says... About two years ago, she was subjected to a level of abuse that triggered shock and anger across the island when it became public last year. In an incident that was captured on video, she was mercilessly beaten by her machete-wielding mom in St. Thomas, Jamaica, and the matter went viral on social media. But in a standout case of a personal turnaround that shows that with the right opportunity and mindset, children are willing to learn can also excel. Children who are willing to learn can excel. <clears throat> the 12-year-old student who was at the heart of the machete beating 
was given a new meaning to the term resilience. Emerging from all the drama of the public spectacle, the child has managed to pick up the pieces of her life to the point where she is now excelling in school after being a mediocre performer before. Now, I want to tell you that excelling in school after being a mediocre performer, people will pardon me, I'm here doing um, this video and I see a lady who has to be in her 60s and she's pregnant. So, but and it, it just took my attention away. But anyways, emerging from all the drama of the public spectacle, the female child has managed to pick up the pieces of her life. Now, check this out. Let me show you how good she's doing. Reports reaching Loop News, big up to Loop again, are that since the dramatic incident, a number of Jamaicans have provided assistance to the family. So, shout out to all those people who have provided assistance to the family. And the assistance has spurred some positive changes, especially for the child who has moved from struggling near the back of her class to being one of the top performers in her class. <coughs> Pardon me. A social media user who goes by the name of Leighton McKnight shared the good news of the impact of the intervention of several Jamaicans who reached out to the child and her family in conjunction with the Child Protection and Family Service Agency. Family and friends do recall that much publicized incident with the beating of a young girl with a machete by her mother that circulated last year on social media. Well, the child sent me this award that she got from school. So the child was awarded at school for academic achievements and the child sent the award to this person. This person being a part or lead of the group that is helping to stabilize this child's life. I am happy to report that with assistance and counseling, the family is doing much better. Though things are not perfect, said the user of Twitter, just by being able to go to school regularly, she was able to move from 18th, 18th, 18th in her class to first, in the first three months of help and support. Please keep them in your prayers. This is a testimony as to how a little help can change lives. Thanks to those who rose up beyond just condemnation and actually reached out and helped, especially a well-known artist and child protection and family service agency, McKnight concluded. Now, here's the thing. Doreen Dyer the St. Thomas woman who was captured on the video beating the children was eventually sentenced to three years of probation with parental counseling and anger management. Her twin daughters, including the victim of the beating, were also ordered to remain in custody of a relative until they became adults, but with the mother having visitation rights. This was after Dyer, who was 44, pled guilty to cruelty to her child in the St. Thomas Parish Court. The charge was laid against her after the video showed her clad in just her underwear. Remember, you know, that was the viral part of the video. Mummy did only have on her panty. Big titties them swinging naked and beating the daylight out of the child with a machete. And Mummy had came on and said that she was just frustrated and overwhelmed and a lot of people ridiculed her and said, stop, have picnic where you can't take care of because that's one of the big problems in Jamaica. These women breed up for a bunch of um, men. A lot of them have multiple men to their children. So them have five picnic and four baby daddy. And none of the men are involved, which in her case, she had multiple children and different fathers for the children. And none were involved. And she was struggling and she was frustrated, right? And plus to see what her daughter was out there doing after she began plead with the child to see her child show up 
at 11 or 12 years old on social media with titties out and all these things. So she was frustrated and she drastically beat the child and people ridiculed her. Now, I must commend my social media, my SoFlow TV audience because a lot of people on SoFlow TV actually reached out and said, SoFlow, please, please, please find that child immediately, get in touch with her and we have barrel that we want to send. We have money that we want to send, resources we want to send to them and so on and so forth. A lot of people got in touch and made things happen and see there, the little girl made a big turnaround. She is actually lead of her class, first place in her class and doing very well, right? So big up to everybody out there who did do something to help other than just fling stone at the problem, right? And it goes to show that we as a community can make a difference when we come together and contribute, all right? So I love this story this morning and it goes with my message for today. Help someone because you never know how far they're going to take that help. Some people just need a little push, a little bit of help. And then they can set the thing back proper for themselves. Not everybody is a throwaway case. All right. And it also goes to show that we need to do more than just condemn. If we can help, help. A dollar, one dollar, you know. For those of you who live in the USA, four quarters is better than nothing and it's better than just your ridicule and it goes a long way in a lot of instances. You might be comfortable living and you can't see how a dollar could help a situation but for those who are in need of that dollar, trust me, it goes a long way. So big up for yourself for all that. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you think about this one. Go off today and have a wonderful and prosperous day, man. All right, and set the pace for the rest of the week. It's SoFlow TV. You already know. I'm a part of here. Stay tuned for the video that's coming up. And also, make sure you go subscribe to my wife's channel. That's Brains and the Beat on YouTube. I'm out. Peace.